okay, if we want to make y the subject, then we need to get, first of all, get y squared by itself. So we can minus 7 from both sides. This becomes x minus 7 equals y squared. It's a bit like if you had sort of 3 equals y squared plus, I don't know, 2, then, you know, you want to work out y squared. So you need to minus 2 from both sides to get y squared by itself. It's exactly the same idea. But this time I don't simplify it. I don't simplify 3 minus 2 to 1. I have to keep it as x minus 7. Okay, we're nearly there now. So I can I can rewrite this as y squared on the left. That's no problem. And then I've got y squared. So I need to take the square root. Square root is x minus 7. If we're being super precise, then we should put a plus or minus in there. Because that's what you do when you take a square root. Because minus the square roots would also give me x minus 7. So that is my answer. Actually, if you don't include the plus and the minus, the mark scheme gives you full marks. But I say good practice is to remember when you're taking a square root um, to always include plus or minus.